Ladies and gentlemen, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman, and today I'm coming in super damn big with another video for you guys. And today we're gonna be talking everything about Infinite Warfare DLC 1 Rave in the Redwood. And we're gonna be choosing my boy Lee Ross for the source. Of course, he's the associate project director at Infinity War for Zombies, and he is the credible source for uh, Rave in the Redwood. So let's get right into it. If you guys do enjoy and find this video, uh, bada bim bada boom bibble, make sure you guys subscribe for more. But other than that, let's get right into it now. Uh, the boy, the legend Eddie, he said, Will the alien fuses still be in the pack punch in the rave in the Redwoods? If you guys don't know, the alien fuses are something that you get after completing the zombies in Spaceland Easter Egg. And my boy, Lee Ross, actually back at him, he said, Did you already place them um with, with the banger you know, he basically said that with the butt and legend eddie said does that mean double pack punch off the bat and uh, lee ross just like straight up back at him he said i don't know does it with the question mark and he said i just love how cryptic and secretive you are can't wait for what lies ahead and that is absolutely what i'm looking forward to as well and there was another boy uh by the name of blp622 who also asked do you have to complete zombies in spaceline easter egg before raving the redwood and and Lee Ross, my boy, he back at him and said, you don't have to, but it might be beneficial. Who knows with a question mark at the end. And that's kind of like very cryptic. And that is also like super straight up that if you actually complete the Easter egg in Zombies in Spaceland, there, there will be something, maybe the double pack a punch ability that may be available right off the bat once you are in Raven the Redwood. And once you actually find how to pack a punch in Raven the Redwood, if you know what I'm saying. And there's a boy by the name of Philip. He actually asked Lee Ross, will there be something? Something like Neil and if you guys don't know Neil was the robot in zombies in spaceland and he tells you some challenges to do sometimes they are very like cringy and bada bim bada boom they aren't really bada bim bada boom bibble but they are still kind of there and if you do complete them you get some XP some points and tickets and whatnot but uh, Lee Ross back at him and said not exactly but similar challenges will be more personalized this time around and that kind of gets me and tells me that uh, uh, the challenges are most likely going to be like uh, we have seen in Grand Krovi, Setsubu no Shima and stuff like that. Hopefully they aren't like really super kind of time consuming and whatnot if you get what I'm saying. And this question that you guys can see on the screen is absolutely bada bim bada boom -able. Like we, we need that shit, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the boy Gerardo Hernandez, hopefully I pronounced his name correctly here, he at Lee Ross and said, first of all, I love all the work you and your team have done. My question is if we will be getting new perks in uh, Ra Raven the Red, but that's what he, he actually meant to say. And Lee Ross back at him and said, more than you think. And uh, that tells me that there won't be just one new perk, there will be more than one perks and I'm assuming there will be two perks and hell maybe there will be three perks who knows and surely there was a question that was like uh, something that I would ask Lee Ross if I actually would have and it was this question came, uh, came from my boy Hatta V film okay it's not my boy why I'll say my boy but uh he actually said uh actually asked will a lost and found system be in Raven the Redwoods and Lee Ross back at him like with a straight up answer and said yes and that means I, I kind of like the lost and found system but the, my real question would be is there going to be the arcade style that we have seen in zombies in space and um, it was a good thing but I mean like it's not something that I would love to see will players who were good enough in space land be able to double pack punch in space land another same question and Lee Ross back at him and said in space land the fiction is that you are at the beginning of the story one day you'll say oh well hang in there and that's where we're gonna wrap up the video guys if you guys have enjoyed this video leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys very freaking soon.